I wonder who's at the back door. Oh, it's those Cantaloupe brothers, Ernie and Bert. Oh, I bet they heard that I needed some help. Hi guys, how you doing? Yeah, I'm making a I'm making a video. It's a buster, or a, it's a myth busting uh, video that we're making. I think you guys might just work out perfectly. Okay, you say as long as it's a non-speaking part, and if we'll give you a trailer farm trailer ride, uh, you'd be glad to do it. Well, sounds good to me. Hang in there. I'll be right with you. You guys ready to start your farm trailer riding adventure? Okay, let's go. Hang on tight. It's time to go to work now. I'm going to take you out here and set you in the sun and let you sit for a while. And then we'll take some readings. Well guys, how you doing? You've been sitting out here for about an hour and a half now just sitting in the sun and the breeze. Let's take some readings. Okay, under the black canopy We have Ernie at 94. We have his ear at 100. Okay. Bert. We got you, buddy, at 94. Okay. What's your, how, how much is your ear? Ooh, your ear's 99 and a half. Let me see. What's your other ear? 102.5. Okay. How hot is the uh, top of the white canopy? Hundred and two degrees. The black canopy? is 111.5 okay how hot is this here Bert 100 degrees 98 98.5 98.5 100.5 well, it looks to me like you guys are pretty close to being the same temp, whether you're under a white or whether you're under a black shell. Let's do this again. 93.5. 93.5. And you know that's basically about what the ambient air temperature is let's get let's get a reading on this let's get a reading on this trailer deck here 126.5 okay top of the black hundred and eighteen top of the white 102.5. Well, the, def the, white, the white shell definitely reflects more heat. But the whole story is, where your head is, it's the same temperature. It doesn't matter whether it's white, black, it could be gold, green, orange, whatever. 
as long as you've got airflow, as long as you've got airflow going over the top and the bottom of the canopy, ambient air, it's going to have a cooling effect on it. That's pretty obvious. I think we've busted this myth. The ambient temperature in Overbrook, Kansas right now is 92 degrees. I don't know if you can see this or not, but the humidity is 38%. And I'm sitting here in, uh, let's see, I'm sitting here in a four mile an hour southeast breeze in the shade of the rhino hide canopies. Ninety-two degrees. I'm perfectly comfortable and I'm not even sweating. So what do you what do you do what do you do about that? Thanks for watching. Well guys, I promised you a grand finale to this uh, to this video, so I'm, I see you've got your ears on, and uh, yeah, I think you're going to actually need those. So, what are we going to do here today? Well, you know how I like to uh, uh, show how tough the rhino hide canopy is uh, on each of my videos, so... This is what we're going to do today. Man, I almost missed with that second shot, but there's what uh, 20 gauge bird shot will do to your rhino hide canopy. I wonder what the uh, other side looks like. Yeah, we had some penetration. But you know what? I think, I think that it's still probably about 95% functional. Huh. I'm impressed. How about you guys? Huh? <laughs> Was you expecting anything like that? Well, I got a few things I'd like to, to tell you about, and I thought maybe we'd go get out of the sun and go over to the meditation garden and have a little talk. Yeah, I think that's kind of impressive. I'd like to challenge my ABS and my fiberglass competitors to try something like that with their canopies. You know, I've ran over mine with tractors and thrown them. Now I've shot them. Uh, I hope hope you guys are all as impressed as I am. I'm going to take this uh, baby and hang it on my barn wall as a trophy, as a remembrance of the time that we broke the, we busted the myth about the white canopy being so much cooler. Thanks for watching. I wanted to do another uh, tough test today to close out this video. Uh, this is a sample shell that's been laying out in the weather for the last four years. All day, every day for four years. And you can see it's pretty rough. But you know, I wanted to test and see how it stood up to UV rays, how it stood up to freeze thawing and all that. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to see how tough it really is. I think you can see it's pretty dang tough. I don't think it's been degraded in any way. Four years of exposure.